Okay. League of Legends. Ah. Um. <clears throat> League of Legends. Alright, so I'm just gonna talk about my experience with the game. Um. Reason? I saw a video by a guy called Just Alex with a YX talking about his league league experience and uh, it kind of inspired me, well not really inspired me, but I felt like well I might as well make my own version of uh, the experience because it is unique to every person and uh, I don't know maybe some people will relate or not relate and just dislike the video or maybe you'll relate and like the video I don't know I don't care so um I started playing league in 2018 because a friend of mine during a levels showed me rise the rise cinematic and after watching that video I was instantly sold not on the idea of the game, but the on the idea of the climb, right? Because the video is about climbing against all odds, you know, climbing this great mountain of, <clears throat> I don't know, you know, whatever it is, the game, the, the ladder, LP, suffering, all that, and then getting to the top. And I saw that cinematic and I said, yeah, I want that. Whatever this video is selling, I'm buying. And so I think that day I downloaded the game, uh, went through the tutorial, and uh, I think two weeks later, or maybe a week later, I was level 30 and I went straight into ranked. I had I had no concern or care for anything, what, quick play or draft as it was back then, or blind pick it was. Didn't care about ARAM, didn't care about Twisted Tree Line, because that, that, that was out when I started playing. Didn't care about anything else, I only cared about ranked. Um, first year, I played 2,000 games. And I got gold three. And I think I did pretty well considering I had 300 ping the whole time. <clears throat> Just gonna say. It. Second year, uh, my ping got better because uh, I got better Wi Fi. And uh, I got plat three in a thousand games. And then the next year, I got diamond, I think. Or maybe it was the year after. I don't know. But I peaked. Diamond 2, 98 LP or something. And I said to myself, nice. And then I never really played ranked again because I thought to myself, there's no real need. It's not like I'm a content creator or anything. I don't, I don't need to play the game. Um, so that's my ranked history, I guess. But as to the experience itself, well, I don't know. I mean, my favorite part about the game is playing top lane. Because when you play top lane, everything else doesn't matter except ruining someone else's life for 20 to 25 minutes that person being your laner lane opponent you know um i think there's a top lane tradition where as long as you win your lane you win your lane you won the game you you could lose the game but if you won your lane you won and that's all that matters winning your lane is all that matters the top lane and then uh i don't know play some other roles mid lane um, mid lane, jungle, all that. Never like jungle because I like you know PvP, not PVE. Um, support was fun because it felt like uh, it felt like you had to answer the question, how can I impact the game with the least amount of resources, right? Because that's that's really what it is. You have to impact the game with no gold, just your abilities, macro, roaming, and uh, you know playmaking ideas i guess uh the ranked experience i don't know man um i never really joined into the all chat flaming but i mean when your jungle loses his mind in solo queue you kind of get this sinking feeling that the game is lost right especially as a top laner like if your adc or support starts feeding it's kind of like expected right I'm, I'm pretty sure we can all understand this if you're not a bot laner and if you are a bot laner if your top laner starts feeding or your mid laner starts feeding well you can you know you kind of feel like yeah whatever and then it's 
you have to think to yourself, well, how am I going to carry this game? Or how am I going to do my best to not lose or to, to win, right? As when I'm playing top lane, if my jungle loses his mind, that hurts more because that's really the only person that will help me. Mid lane, bot lane, who cares? They're going to feed anyway. <clears throat> And then hopefully at 25 minutes they'll realize that they have 200 CS, three items that can actually do damage. Or maybe you're an ADC and you actually realize that you're meant to be a late game carry. And then you get one, uh, you get a 1000 gold shutdown. And suddenly your brain turns on. You're like, oh wait, I'm actually still in this game. And you play the game. But that's I'm, I'm just ranting at that point. Um, well, I don't know. I have played, I mean, I must have 4,000 hours. I must have at least 2,000 hours on my main account. And then I made like seven other accounts to be able to play in silver with my friends. Because I didn't want to ruin their experience with my diamond matchmaking, um, diamond MMR. And on those accounts, you know, I'd learned some other champs, you know, widen my champ pool into an ocean, so to speak, you know. I had the Gank, Plank, Gwen, Lowey, Renekton, all that. Never played Irelia, cringe. Never played Vayne, never. Never played Fiora, never. Um, that's just my champ pool at that point. But, I don't know. I like to think that when it comes to League, I still have that image or the... Not the image, I still have that idea of the climb from the Rise video. Like, still after, what, seven years? No. 2018? Six, six, seven years? After six, seven years, I still have the idea of the Rise cinematic in my head. Whenever I click queue up or play, that I am, I am facing insurmountable odds and challenges. So it feels like losing is, is part of the thing. If you win, it's good. If you lose, it's good. It's, it's about overcoming an obstacle, overcoming a, overcoming a challenge, so to speak. So when I see people um, actively lose their minds because of a small thing, when I see people, <clears throat> I guess the word, the, the phrase would be crash out because their jungle took a cannon or their support took a minion, I kind of just laugh from top lane in my ivory island because first of all it's just a game <laughs> second of all it's just a game third of all like who cares it's one minion and you still have what, 35 minutes to go you know like the first 14 minutes of the game is laning phase and then, I guess, 14 to 20 is mid game? I don't know. You got that weird grace period between 15 minutes and 20, because that's 20 minutes when Baron spawns. And then, I guess, a late game is when everyone is three items. But I don't, I don't know when that officially starts. Some people say when Elder spawns is when late game happens. But that means late game can be as early as... 20 minutes? No, as early as 25 minutes and as late as 35 minutes, who, who knows? <sighs> um, yeah, I, I should have wrote a script for this, but I don't do scripts. I like the, uh, I like the unnatured, unnatured, what the, f what, what is an unnatured? I like the unplanned, that's the word, unplanned nature of no scripts. What else can I think about when I think League? Um, yeah, I don't know. I was a top laner. So, all of this stuff never really, I never really care about any, my teammates, innit? But I will say though, I saw this a quiz. Um, some gigantic personalities were gamer thing. And I got Acrobat. And I know that personalities have this thing where it's like, they can technically be applied to everyone if you just have a slightly similar circumstance. But I think that the Acrobat makes a lot of sense if you're a ranked player. Like if you if you like playing ranked for the sake of ranked. Which would explain why I can never care about um, 
Aram, right? Like, uh, some people will look at League as a game. I look at League as a as a place to improve one skill in a game. Does that make sense? That, that, does that even make sense? Now let me try again. Like, you can look at League as a game, right? With three modes. <clears throat> Ranked, Quick Play, and Aram, right? Or you can look at League as only ranked and only a place to improve. You can't play for fun, you play to improve. That's the best way to describe it. You can even look at League as a game to have fun or a game to get better in. And that can be applied to any game or ranked system. Which means Apex is also a game that you play to improve. Uh, Rainbow Six is a game you play to improve. Valorant. Uh, I guess Legends of Runeterra, TFT. Or that any game or rank system is a game you play to improve, not a game to have fun. Um, if you guys are interested in you know more questions about my experience, um, I could do an FAQ video after this if I get like enough of a response or engagement. So uh, I'm gonna leave a leave a comment down, and uh, I'm gonna leave a comment down in the comment section where you can put your questions, and uh. I think I mentioned the uh, Gigantic Quiz, I'll leave that as well in the description if you want to look at that. Um, if you're a bard, Lumfau. Uh yeah I'll get, this is, this is editing, this is editing castle by the way, I'm just putting that in here, oh you know, go back to the video now. <laughs> if you're wondering why I haven't, actually no, so how long has it been? I haven't been I haven't played League in like three months. Why? Because my internet is so bad that it's completely unplayable. And I'll DC and get um Leave Buster. I don't want that. That's why I play Helldivers. And uh ever since that, you know, I made this cute little YouTube channel that I have here. Uh, going on six hundred subscribers soon, hopefully. Uh you know, it's taught me some things about content creation, you know, video editing, making shorts, making videos, making memes, playing Helldivers, all that. But I still want to go back to League. <laughs> That's the crazy part. I am an addict to not League, but to the feeling of improvement, right? Helldivers is a great game, right? But I play Helldivers like I play League, which isn't good. Because I remember the first three weeks, there was a meta, or whatever, of a railgun shell generator, and I played that every game without fail because it was the most effective and it was the most easy. And now I play auto cannon every time. There will always be an auto cannon in my loadout, regardless of anything else, because it's the most effective. It's, it's it's the most it's the best way to improve at the game. And then I learned how all of the Objectives work. I learned how all of the enemies work, all the interactions, all that. Like I can't play Helldivers for fun. I have to, I play it to get better at. Hello, editing castle here again. What a castle in the past, you know. That guy I was trying to say was that Helldivers is a game you play for fun, not a game to play. You play to improve. But because I've been playing League and ranked games for so much, I look to improving games that you can't really improve at. So, yeah, if you're playing Helldivers, just have fun. You know that that's that's something that that you're meant to do, which I'm unable to do because I, I I've played League for so much. I think the only other game that I've had fun playing was like Final Fantasy 16 and 14, and I guess uh, you know any solo any solo. Game. Anyway, uh, edit, this is editing castle. We'll leave it again. Bye bye. You know. Also, make sure to hit subscribe. I'm watching you. Do it. I think recently, I think, yeah, when I last played like four months ago, I recently just mutual. So you know, don't hear anyone speaking. I only see pings. And then even then, I might just mute everyone's pings as well, so it's completely silent. And I do have to say. It does improve your gameplay a lot because then you don't have all of this excess information from random people that aren't really helping you right 
and you don't get you don't get subconsciously tilted by spam pings even if they're not on you i feel like i feel like if you're a league player and you hear pings being spammed you're subconsciously tilted because of the innate meaning of pings being spammed so yeah maybe play better i can't believe they removed the ability to ping your teammates though you can't you can't actually flame your teammates anymore like you can't even quietly flame them because i would never chat right and the best way for me to flame people was to just spam their items or spam their profile pic. Now you can't even do that. Like, what? But that's whatever, you know. League of Legends, neutering the ability to, I don't know, have a voice without having a voice. And you might be wondering, well, why don't you talk at all? Because there's no need. I don't, you don't speak to animals expecting them to understand you. So just don't speak to them at all. Just ignore them. It's uh, every game of league is you and nine monkeys, unless you have a duo. Then it's you and eight monkeys and your duo. You could also be a monkey, but that depends on you. I guess if I was to summarize league in itself, I'd say it's uh, I would say for, for all the balancing and all of the issues with items and champs, I think the game is perfect in the sense of it gives you exactly what you pay for, which is well, not really pay for, you get what. Is advertised right like for me what was advertised was the climb and the challenge of the climb so when you play league every game is a challenge you have to figure out the puzzle of your laner your items your teams win condition your enemies win conditions objectives timeouts macro roles lane management uh, team fights split pushing towers objectives uh, what else um, interactions between abilities like all of that it's perfect, right? That's that's what you want when you play League. That's why everyone queues up to, to get all of those random, randomized champion abilities and figure out how to win, right? The worst part is the other nine monkeys on your team, which is why the best way to play League is to remove nine monkeys, right? I think that the, the best, the, the purest form of League is Clash, right? I, I still I still think it is, and I don't know why people don't agree with me on this. It's clash. You get five people, you get four people that you pick, or that have picked you, right? And you all who are all on the same page collectively try to achieve a goal. Right? And if you can't do clash, the next best next best thing is flex. But no one no one values flex because no one has friends, because you're all league players and no one has four friends to play flex with. But flex is the, the second best form of league in itself. I don't understand why everyone is so obsessed with solo queue. Being a being good individually is, is fun, is great, but in a team game, it 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 be the best version of you is being able to play as a team. It's flex, but that's my opinion. You have to value it. But I still think flex is the best form of League of Legends, but no one takes it seriously. Because no one has friends, no one can suffer to have four people and actually work to improve as a team, right? I've seen, I think I saw, uh, you know, yeah, Dantes, right? He went to Brazil recently with uh, Yamato, TF, TF Blade, and some other people. I don't remember. I think Tarzan was there, and all five of them stayed and improved themselves to work as a cohesive team five big streamer egos actually managed to work together as a team for like a month or two months right yet some people can't comprehend the idea of getting four friends that they know to play flex a few times a week maybe once a week just to slowly get better as a team no there'll, there'll be one guy that has to play solo queue one guy doesn't like another guy in the team. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going, but my point is that the best version of League is when there's a team and you're all working towards the goal, right? And if you can't do that and you're playing solo queue, you're not playing League. You're playing against your laner. That that's that's it. If you're playing, if you're solo queue in jungle, you're not playing. Uh, a jungler you're playing you versus the enemy jungler if you're playing solo mid it's not you're playing the team's mid laner 
you're playing you versus the enemy enemy, enemy laner. And me, well I was a solo queue top laner. It was me versus the enemy solo, enemy enemy top laner. Which is already top lane in a nutshell, but it's, you know, it's still the same thing, right? I had most fun when I was playing 5v5 for my university as a, as a top lane for my team. We'd get, we'd, so we'd scrim, or not, we can't really scrim against other people, but we would quote unquote scrim by playing ranked flex, you know? Learn how to communicate, learn how to make call outs in the team, right? Learn how to uh, understand each other's play styles and, and habits, you know? So you could, you could develop a kind of unconscious trust in your teammates, right? Like. If you're a top laner, like I mean, if I'm a top laner, I was a top laner. I knew that at a certain time that I could. Uh, oh my screen! I knew that at a certain time, if I needed help pushing my lane, my jungler would come to push my lane with me. Well, I also knew that um, my ADC would not brain AFK and tilt if the support uh, took a minion on it. I knew that my mid laner would. What would my mid laner do? I knew that my mid laner would actually sacrifice minions to to help roam for an objective instead of just power farming like some mages do in solo queue. There's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like when you play solo queue, you forget. Well, when you play solo queue, you forget it's a team game, and then you value yourself, which is what solo queue is. But I would say that sacrificing a wave for your team to get an objective is still worth. It's worth the six minions instead of oh not even not even for an objective, right? If you if you're playing mid and you leave, give up a wave so your jungle doesn't die, your jungle gets a kill. That is worth because your jungle has good morale and trust in you, right? He gets three hundred gold to spread throughout the map or you get 300 gold whoever gets it is, is good and most importantly team morale on your side is up team morale on the enemy team is down you know good so uh there's not really much else to say i think league of legends is a game that you play to improve at it's best played when you have a team of people to play with Playing solo queue is fun, only if you have the mental fortitude to do so. Always mute all in solo queue. And if you're not doing that, you have to be making content out of it somehow, because it won't be worth the mental risk. I saw um, the, the studio head for Valorant make a video about increasing bans for people, abusing voice chat, whatever. I don't know man, they're just gonna do something dumb. We already can't we can't ping people on league. You're not gonna be able to I don't know. You're gonna get censored somehow in in Valorant now. I don't know man. Um Yeah. Like and subscribe, innit? Oh yeah. I do plan to I do plan to go back to League. Right now I'm playing Helldivers because Helldivers is more fun than League. Um, if this channel or video goes big, really big, I shall go back to League eventually. And then we shall see if I can get Masters or Grandmasters. I'm going to aim for Grandmasters because always always aim for the stars so that if you miss you'll still hit the moon, right? So um, yeah, like, subscribe, hit join, share all that good stuff and uh bye